Hey everyone, this is Mike from Virtual PM, just coming out with another Azure DevOps training. Today we're going to talk about creating a query so you can actually see what work items are being displayed in your Azure board or columns. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let me go ahead and bring up my board here. All right. So as you guys can see, I've got my demo project and I've got uh, several work items on my Azure board. I've got some things in active, some things in resolve, some things in closed. So sometimes you may want to actually create a query and display it on your dashboard and kind of show what's been resolved, what's been uh, currently active, things of that nature. So to do this, go ahead and go to queries. You're going to go ahead and click new query. Let's go ahead and do all work item types. So give me everything in my Azure um, database doesn't matter what they are. Uh, let's go ahead and do state of any so that it will give me anything that has been completed, active, resolved, things of that nature. Next thing we're going to want to look at is the board. The board column. And then it's going to equal to, and this is where you can kind of see the system should show you what exactly all your different columns are. So let's go ahead and do a query on the resolved items and run the query. So right now, as you can see, it's actually giving me everything that's in the resolved column and it can go across um, multiple boards. So right now it's giving me um, anything that's in the resolve state on my feature board. And it's also giving me anything that's in the resolve state on the user story. Now, if you do wanna kind of keep this um, and kind of uh, make sure that you're only getting things from certain areas, that's where you can change the work item type. You can go ahead and move it to, let's just say user story level. Go ahead and run the query again. And as you can see, I only got one item that's in the resolve state or in the resolved board column of resolved. Okay. Now let's just say, let's go ahead and save this and let's name this um, Azure board uh, resolved items. And as always, let's go ahead and make it sure it's a shared query. Okay. So now that we have that saved, now let's just say that you guys are uh, wanting to uh, kind of show a differentiating between what's currently resolved and what's been reviewed versus what's been reviewed and now it's ready to be moved into production. That can be done by using the doing and done uh, functionality in the boards. So to do this, you're going to go ahead and click this configuration gear cog. Then we're going to go ahead and, and go to your columns. And let's just say we want to uh, break up resolved, right? So we're going to click on resolved here, columns, and then resolved. And then we're going to go ahead and select the split columns into doing and done. Hit save and closed. And as you can see now, my resolve column is a little bit bigger with the doing and done. So let's go ahead and test this out here. Let's go ahead and move requirement three into active. Let's go to resolved. And let's say we've already finished um, and we've done a review on the requirement one and um, we're ready to almost pass it out into production. So right now we've got requirement three in doing and requirement one in done. So you can go ahead and go into your query. Let's go ahead and select the query that we were just on. And right now we wanna to go to editor. So now we're gonna to wanna to add an extra clause to this query and let's go ahead and say, board column done right so equals and let's just say we want to uh, look at um, the doing items right so you're going to want to say board column done equals false right let's go ahead and run our query so now we can see that we're seeing only requirement three because it's saying give me everything that's in the resolved column and also, please give me everything that is not equal to the done column. So right now we're only looking at uh, requirement three, which is in the resolved um, is in the resolved doing. So hopefully that makes sense. So let's go ahead and save as again, and let's add in here. Let's go ahead and say 
we can go ahead and put in doing, right? Go ahead and select OK, right? So now let's just remember it's requirement three here. So if I go back to my board, requirement three is in the doing column, right? And it's not showing the requirement one, which has already been done and reviewed and is ready to go off into production. So I hope this helps. Uh, you, Like I said, you can do this with any of your boards, um, any columns. So as you add more columns and more doing and dones, you can go ahead and do those things. Uh, it will support you being able to create a chart as well for your um, backlog or for your dashboard. Um, so hopefully this, hopefully this helps. It gives you guys a little bit more visibility on what's kind of going on with your projects. If you guys like the things that I'm putting out, please feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, leave some comments down below if you have any additional questions or if you guys would like to um, see any other queries that I put out here in the future. Hope everybody has a good day and I will talk to you soon.